Hello, I'm Dragoș and in this video we're going to take a look of how you can install Open Web UI with uh, Olama on a VPS server that has 8 uh, cores and 60 gigabytes of RAM and we're going to see exactly how uh, this is working. The server cost is about uh, $20 a month. So uh, if you don't know, Olama it's an uh, application that can help you run uh, large language models locally and uh, Open Web UI it's an... Um, interface that will be on top of uh, Olama and it will help you chat with these uh, large language models and uh, open web where it can also be configured to use APIs like OpenAI, like Grok and uh, so on. And in this video we are going to focus and see how we can use uh, Docker to install all of this. So in here we have the Olama website. So basically in here you have the website and uh, you can go and check their models for this and you see that you have uh, different uh, models, you have the newest one and you have different parameters basically because we are not using any GPU on our server we should use the ones that are, are smaller. The best uh, way to use Olama is to with a uh, GPU to have the best performance but this will also work with uh, VPS server but it will not provide the, that uh, fast responses. So. We are going to go in details about models when we are going to use one of them. And this is the open web UI and like this the interface will look. We are going to check exactly how it's looking. So you see in here that it's looking clean and uh, nice. And um, for this I've already created an article with all of the things that uh, we need to do to have this set up. This is the article. So again in here the first thing that you need to have is to have a server where you can have a lot of this. If you have like uh, NVIDIA GPU local computer, I've also let instruction in here how you can configure this and take advantage of the NVIDIA GPU. And uh, I will let also in the video some uh, configurations that are needed before because we are going to use traffic to grant access to the web UI. So yeah, in, in here I have everything. So the server is already configured. I will gonna use Dogja to set everything up. The video created will also tell you how you can install Dogja on top of uh, traffic because like this it's, it is. And uh, yeah, let's go and check the Docker Compose file. This is for the CPU only. So here we have the CPU only. In here I have the image that I am pulling the Open Web UI one. Host name, I'm adding this to the network with traffic. It will restart if it's not unless stopped. Volumes, it will be stored locally. And here I'm adding the labels for traffic. In here I will tell traffic to use this. I will put the domain for this with uh, basically it will be my subdomain, it will be HTTPS and this is the port that uh, OpenWeb uses, 8080. And for the environment I will tell it to use this Olama, basically it will be the next container. It will be in the same network. And for Olama we have the Olama with again container name, host name, same network. And the details will be stored in here locally. Basically this will have the things set up. And again if you are using an server that it has NVIDIA GPU, you can go and check these documentations. You need to modify some things. You need to in install the NVIDIA GPU details in here, the NVIDIA container toolkit. Also, you have some other details in here that you need to add to Olama. So you have all the things in this article in function of what you have. For us, we are going just to just copy this because we are using a server with only a CPU. And I'll go in here and I will put in here the stack name and I'll paste the details in here. And in here what we'll need to do is to go and change my domain. So for this I will put the web and web UI and my domain and I'm putting this under my bdos.com. I already have the certificate set up for this. So this should, should work. And uh, yeah, right now I will just save this. And right now the container is active. And we are going to start it and right now it will pull all the details. This is like more fast because it's already pulled the images in the past and uh, let's go and uh, see it. So right now this is it's starting. Okay, so right now everything is started. So we should be able to access this. So let me copy the URL and let's go in here. And uh, you see in, in here that you are brought to the OpenUI interface. 
And in here, the first thing that you should do is to sign up. And in here, I'll put a name. I'll put an email address. Then I'll put a password. Create account. So right now you see that in here you have the account uh, set up. But yeah, it doesn't have any model in here. If you're going to check, you don't see any model. You don't see anything. And uh, let's go and uh, check some of the things that this has but yeah first let's see how you can install a, a model so in here you have the controls for instance and in here you have the settings here you can in the controls you can do the system prompts and other settings i didn't went in a lot of details so in the open web ui i just learned the, the basics so the plan is to learn it in the near future and in here for instance you have the settings with admin panel so in the settings you can change the way this is looking for instance you can also go with light if you want, if you like it more. And the interface with selecting a default model. You have the audio in here, you can change the voice of this. Chats, you can import, export for the account. In here we have the admin settings. And in here in the admin settings, you are brought to this settings interface. And in here we have other settings like with users, with connections. In here you can configured open API, open AI API and with the key, you can add also the Grok one if you want. Here we have the Olama API that is set in the Docker Compose containers. And in here we can add one of our models. So if we were going to check the models that you can use, it will be the best to use the models that are smallest ones. So in here, the ones that are under 3 billion parameters because uh, you have a, like a small computer and in here the smallest one it's queen it's on, it's queen too it has only 0 0.5 billion parameters and we can go and select the model from here so we put it in here and we go and download it and right now it's just pulling the the model and this should not take a lot because this model it's quite uh, quite light and it will uh, pull everything fast so let's wait okay so you see that right now the model it's uh, it's added and in here if we go to the new chat we can go and select the model so in here you see that you can go and select queen and you can go and ask him how are you let's say and right now this will work and you see that it's quite fast because it's a small model and uh, in here you have the options to edit this you have the options to copy you have the read it so basically this will read the text. You have the information in here. You have the tokens per, per second and total durations and things like that. It took about two seconds to respond. In here you can like it, don't like it. And in here you have the continuous response. For instance, if you want, doesn't have something to continue like right now. And in here you can regenerate if you want. Okay, so. The other thing that we can do is to add the, the model, another one, like it's more capable than this one. And uh, we see that we don't have it and we can use pull. And this will start pulling this model and it will uh, go and uh, configure everything for us. So we can use this. So we can wait based on the size of the model that you are pulling. It will take different time. This one, it's like a couple of gigabytes and it's isn't that big so it should be quite fast okay so right now we see that uh, the model has been successfully downloaded and if we're going to go and check you see that you have queen in here and we're going to ask the same questions how are you and uh, you see that uh, I'm using still queen which is not good so let's go and use Gemma for this okay how are you it was quite fast, so that's why I, uh, I saw that you are not using the correct one. So you see that with the bigger models, this it's uh, slower and slower, and you see that it's barely writing, but it's functional, so you can use it if you want. Like this, you can view the details in here. So you see for this, it took about 15 seconds. So for instance, if you want to use the uh, queen, like uh, create, a Python make game. You can go and do that and you see that uh, this one it's quite fast. I'm not sure about the quality of this, 
but uh, yeah it's pretty usable so you can use it on this uh, this server that costs like uh, 20 bucks a month and you can add uh, add it in here and yeah you see that you have like a decent response time let's wait and see when this finished how much it took how much time it took and you can have also some other small co codes models in Olama library that you can use with this if you are interested to create code so you see it took about 30 seconds to respond to these questions and you have about 30 33 tokens per second so yeah this uh, is not that fast but it's usable so you can start in using this uh, right away so I guess you can try to install this on a server with four uh, CPUs and 8 GB of RAM and see if it's working okay for you. It may need uh, more memory, that's why the preferred option is to, to use the 60 GB one. But yeah, you can try also there if you are on a low budget. What uh, you can do after you install this to not have any other sign up to your application, because for instance, if you're going to go and login again into this you will see that right now everyone can sign up which is not a good uh, good thing so to disable this you can go and add the environment variables for for this and in the article i've also created here you have enable sign up equal to false that you need to add and you can go and do that so you can see how it's working so we edit this and we are going to go this and add this to the open web ui i will hit save and right now let's update and this will pull everything again and it will start everything we should wait for a couple of minutes so everything started and right now we can go and see if we have that disabled so let's go and add a new incognito window and in here let's go and copy the url like this And right now you see that you have only the sign in options, you don't have the sign up option, so we disable that. So in this way you can disable the sign up and uh, yeah, you can add your users manually if you want. In this way you are installing the Olama with the Open Web UI. In the near future I will create some other tutorials that I will show you how you can better use Open Web UI. Also maybe with Grok because it has a free API. Also with some search engines and maybe some of uh, the React functionalities of Open Web UI. I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, please don't forget to like and subscribe if you like what we have seen.